hi guys welcome back to my channel so thank you so much for joining me on my channel today if you're new then i hope you guys enjoy the content that i create and if you're existing then thank you so much for the love and support that you're constantly giving me now in today's video i'm going to be doing a chatty makeup tutorial so i'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look that i've done today which is kind of like a simple bronzed eye but kind of focused more on the skin so kind of like a very dewy sun-kissed glowy skin look and yeah so i hope you guys enjoy this look don't forget to comment and let me know what you thought about it and i shall see you in the next slide so guys i'm going to start off by prepping my face and that means by moisturizing my face and i'm going to add a little bit of this number seven luminous drops to my moisturizer just a few drops to give me that hydration so i'm just gonna pop it on the back of my hand so i always rub my moisturizer between my palms and then i apply it by just letting it tap and soak into my skin and make sure that you always go down the neck but when you apply your moisturiser you want to rub it upwards so that it seeps deep into your skin now applying moisturiser is really important because it gives your makeup a really good base and also keeps your skin hydrated that's moisturising done now I don't always use a primer but I do use a primer in these hot humid days because I feel like the makeup will last a lot longer if you use a primer now for my primer I'm going to be using this Smashbox water primer now I've used this before and I really find that it uplifts the skin and hydrates really well um, and then I'm just going to let that soak in and dry While the primer is seeping into my skin, I'm going to use this Kiko Lip Nourishing Oil on my lips just to keep them hydrated. Okay, so for my for my makeup, I'm going to start off with my eyes. I'm going to keep my eyes nice and simple and I'm going to go for like a kind of bronzed kind of brown look. First thing I'm going to use on my eyes is going to be this Urban Decay Potion Primer and I'm going to use this in the shade Sin. Now I picked up this tip from a famous YouTuber called Hindash and he uses the primer to carve out the shape of the um, eye so that he then can use the shadow over it but I'm kind of going to go for the similar look that he's gone for and that's kind of like a wet eyeshadow look and yeah let's get started so i'm going to carve out the eyeshadow with this eyeshadow primer and i'm going to do this by sort of creating a winged eye look effect out here and then going in it's really easy so i'm bringing that to the inner corner of my eye leaving the middle empty You don't, worry, you don't have to worry about being too neat with this, you just want to carve out the shape you want for the shadow. I'm using the Real Techniques blending brush to blend this in and these are one of my favorite type of brushes so that's blended i'm going to do the same thing to the other side of the eye as you can see i've carved out the primer using it as um, a shadow and then sort of just given it that wing effect and i've only applied it on the outer crease bringing it into the crease and then into the inner corner i'm going to go in with this 
Too Faced chocolate bar palette. Now this chocolate bar palette used to be one of my favourite palettes for some time and I have actually forgotten how good this palette actually was. And I just want to show you guys, it's got such beautiful shades of browns in here and it smells like cocoa powder, it smells divine. So you can see all the different colours. I actually used to use this shade here as a highlighter on my face which I really used to love and it's bringing back a few memories and I'm just excited to use it again. So yeah, so today's shade, the net I'm going to apply over the primer is going to be this hazelnut shade. So this hazelnut shade. So with a flat brush, I'm going to, like I said, use the hazelnut shade. Again, where I've applied the primer, so on the outer corner, bringing it towards the inner corner, leaving the middle empty. I always apply my shadow with gentle circular motions and again, bringing it towards the inner corner. You can already see the dimensional effect that it's having because the primer was a kind of like the wet look. If you see Hindash's video, you'll be able to see how he applied the primer and then the shadow. And I really liked these steps. I'm going to use this shade Milk Chocolate. And I'm going to use this shade and just smoke out the look that I've already created. <music> And I'm going to use an angled brush to apply that to my eyes as a liner. I didn't want to go in with a really dark eyeliner so that's why I chose the deep brown. I feel like it will bring out the colours of the eyes and the shadows that I've used. So for the middle of my eye, I'm kind of giving my eye a halo effect. So I'm going to go in with the shade in this same palette, Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. And I'm going to use my fingers to pick up this shade Creme Brulee. And then I'm going to apply this to the middle part of my eye where I've left it empty. This is to kind of give it that kind of like dimensional wet look effect and then literally just apply it with my fingers to the middle. So instantly it's giving my eye a uplifting kind of dimensional effect. Just want to give your eyelashes a little lift and I'm going to use this eyelash curler and then just pop it onto my eyelash and then hold it for two seconds and just press it up to give this. So I'm going to apply my favourite Lash Sensational Mascara by Maybelline and I'm going to give my lashes two coats of this. So I always apply my mascara using the wand as with the curvy bit and I'm going to Kind of lift my lashes with that and then just wiggle. I'm going to go in and use this MAC Light Touch Pigment uh, Pressed Pigment and I'm going to use that and apply that to the area where I've already applied the creme brulee in the middle of my eye and then just the inner corners as well. You can see this is a really pretty pinky kind of shade, very sparkly and really, really pigmented. So I've only just put a little bit on my finger if you guys can see and you can see the kind of colour on it. It's kind of like a gold pink colour and I'm going to apply that, like I said, on the same area where I applied the creme brulee. 
which is in the middle of the eye. Now that the eyes are halfway done, I've kind of done the top part. I'm going to do the, like I said, the liner part of my eye afterwards. So I'm going to go in with my base now, and that is going to be with this Chanel foundation. Now, I can't talk about this foundation enough. It's actually a really kind of like a very much of a tinted kind of foundation. It's got that coverage, but at the same time, it's giving me that peep through skin look, which is what I'm all about this summer. So, it says pump bottle, so I'm just going to apply some to the back of my hand. And that's usually how I apply my foundation, and I apply it with little kind of like dots all over my face. I go in with a damp beauty blender, so this one's actually from Real Techniques, and I'm going to use this to blend all that foundation in. <laughs> concealer I'm going to go in with this Kevin Aquine concealer now is that how you say it Kevin Aquine I think so it looks like this inside it's super super creamy it applies literally glides on the face so I'm actually going to use my fingers to apply it to the areas that I just want to brighten and sort of uh, where I've got like dark shadows um, and just brighten that area so I'm going to be using very little this concealer can be used on its own as well I feel or just like when you're wearing a no foundation or just a tinted moisturizer and just add a little bit of concealer to the areas that you want sort of coverage or sort of cover off cover up any imperfections or dark circles or anything like that but for myself I'm going to be using this just ever so slightly because I feel like it's so creamy and it blends in so well I'm just going to just pop a little bit underneath the eyes and I'm going to use my fingers like I said so just a little bit on the finger and I'm going to apply it a bit just underneath the eyes like that and then near the nose area and these are areas I just want to brighten up a little maybe just on the forehead and Again, I'm going to go in with a damp beauty blender and just blend that through. You can also use a brush, but I feel a beauty blender for me gives the best coverage. So you can instantly see that it's brightening up my face. And where the light hits is usually where I would use the concealer. in all the products that I've used today in the description box below so do check that out now I don't want to go in with a very heavy look but I kind of want to just set this concealer that I've applied so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the Laura Mercier invisible um, setting powder and this will literally just set the powder where I want it so it won't move. Um, this Laura Mercier powder is super light and it's invisible which is perfect so all it's going to do is a job of sort of setting that concealer that I've just applied so it doesn't budge or move being the fact like I said to you in the humidity so just a little bit underneath here to set. So as you can see, you can't see any colour or anything like that, it's just translucent powder. Now that the concealer is set, I'm going to go in with my contour. Now, I learnt again this tip from Hindash, and I'm going to be using cream, con cream contour first, and then I'm going to go in with a kind of powder or a bronzer contour. Now the reason I'm going to do that is because, again, being the fact that it's summer, I want the makeup to last. So the cream contour will kind of act like a pre-concealer. So I'm going to be using this Sleek Contour Palette, and this is in the shade Light. Now, as you can tell, I've hit pan on this palette. I used to love using this palette a lot, and then I stopped, and now I've restarted using the cream contours, because I feel like, like I said, they last longer, and um, they glide on, and they give me more of a definition as well. So I'm going to go in with this shade here. It doesn't have a name, 
but I'm going to go in with this kind of medium uh, dark contour and I'm going to apply that to the areas that I usually apply my contour which is around the forehead cheek areas just below the chin and maybe a little bit of the nose I do not contour my nose that often I only do it sometimes but sometimes I do like an extra contour everywhere and I will go in more so I'm going to use a brush to just apply the contour to the areas I want defined so you can actually feel where you want to define the areas and that's usually where the cheekbone is hitting and just like underneath the jawline just here and just the nose area which is just over here using this big fluffy brush to just blend that contour through so I'm going to blend that contour through with this brush and that's going to be like in circular motions You can already see the definition of that colour forming and it's giving me still that radiant look through and not very heavy look of makeup which obviously I don't want. And I'm not going to contour my nose in terms of too much but just to give it a little shadow. And that's what I've done in blending that through. Normally if I want a more contoured nose effect, I will go in with a smaller brush and I will actually contour and take my time on that. But I just wanted to add a little bit of shadows because I'm keeping my makeup to a very minimum as much as I can. Very natural kind of finish to my base as if I feel like the summer is all about the base, the dewy look, the glowy look, the sun-kissed look. And I don't want to be adding too much makeup but yet yeah, I'm doing a little bit of layering just to give it a, that natural but long lasting effect. So now that I've pre-concealed my face with the cream contour I'm going to go in with this MAC Refined Golden Bronzer. Now this bronzer is such a pretty cut bronzer it's so beautiful. I'm just going to show you guys if you can see it's a lovely golden kind of brown colour but it's kind of got a shimmer to it I don't know if you guys can see on camera but it really has a really pretty shimmer so where the light hits you get that kind of dimensional kind of pretty glowy dewy effect so I'm going to go in with the same brush that I used the cream contour with and I'm going to just apply a little bit of that bronzer and again I'm going to go over the areas that I've already pre-concealed so again over the forehead, the cheeks, the chin and the nose. So again, I usually apply it in circular motions. So I don't over, con over contour, I just like bringing it down to my cheekbones where I've already applied the cream contour and I just want to give it that very kind of bronzy, sun-kissed look and a little bit underneath the chin. <laughs> I hate you with my hair getting in the way, which is why I've tied it back a little. Now that the bronzer is done, I want to now go in with my blush. And now, again, same as with the cream contours, I've been obsessed with blushes. And the brushes that I've been obsessed with are kind of cream blushes. I feel like they are just like a summer go-to because they just glide on. They give that very dewy, um, finish to my skin and I feel like they just they just give me that kind of like flushed cheeks look I love for summer because it just gives you that pop of colour so for my blush I'm going to be using this NARS Orgasm palette now this palette I bought recently and it's 
it's actually called I think Endless Orgasm Palette sorry not Orgasm Palette so yeah I'm gonna go in with the blush from this palette it has six different shades and the shade that I'm gonna go in with is going to be this kind of like pink purpley shade over here and the shade is called Super Orgasm now like I said it's a very creamy blush so I'm gonna use a blush brush by the Real Techniques I'm just gonna pick that up with the brush now you can actually use your fingers to apply the blush as well and then blend it through afterwards but I like it on for this blush blusher I like it on the brush first so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply it to the apples of my cheeks and then bring it across higher over my cheekbone just so that it gives me that very defined kind of pop of color look so I'm gonna go like that and again I apply everything in circular motions I feel like it glides on you can see the color coming through you can see the glow coming through instantly it's given me that just really nice flushed cheek I'm gonna add a little bit of blush to the top part of my nose because I kind of like that flushed kind of you know look there too for the highlighter I'm going to go back in with one of my favorites and this is again by MAC and this is the highlighter called show gold and it is a very reflective very 3d dimensional type of um, highlighter it's got a pink kind of undertones to it with golden so it's kind of it sits on the skin kind of pinky gold and because I've applied a nice blush pinky kind of blush to my face I kind of want to bring that out a little bit more and I feel like this highlighter will actually give that blush a pop so I'm going to apply that to just above where I've applied the blusher and that's going to be just above and over at the temples and then maybe slightly on the nose as well so I'm just going to apply it here By the way, these brushes were sent to me some time ago and I've still got them. They're these mermaid brushes. They look so pretty, but they actually are really good quality and they've lasted long. And you'll see me using them in a lot of my videos. If you want to see where I got them from, you can uh, scroll through some of my old videos and you'll see um, where I got them from. And obviously there's a discount code on there as well. a little bit on the where the light hits on the forehead and a little bit on the nose as well okay before we do the rest of the look I want to go back in and finish the eyes off and I am going to again show you guys what I use I use a angle brush and pick up this shade milk chocolate and a little bit of this semi-sweet chocolate and apply that underneath my eyes just to bring them out a little bit Generally in summer, I wouldn't wear any lashes, so I think for this look I'm not going to wear any lashes because it's not something that I have been wearing. I only wear lashes if I'm going out for a glam look, so maybe a party, a dinner date or something like that. And yeah, so I'm going to keep this look without lashes because I feel like the whole look is simple on the eyes and then just very much of a dewy, glowy face. That gives me that kind of sun-kissed look so I'm gonna go in with my favorite lip liner and that's gonna be this MAC lip liner here this liner is called Whirl, and I'm gonna line my lips with this it's a very it's a very nude kind of shade um, and it's very kind of like versatile so you can kind of mix it up with this the liner on its own or you can add lipstick so I'm going to be adding a lipstick and a gloss I 
I feel like my lips are really heavy at the bottom and not so kind of shapely at the top so I'm gonna kind of like overline just a little. So I'm gonna go in with this NYX Soft Matte Cream Lipstick and it's in the shade Stockholm. I'm gonna apply this to my lips. It's a very soft matte lipstick. It doesn't dry out your lips, I feel. And it's a very nude color. Actually, it's a very nudey, pinky color. Now I'm gonna go in with this favorite of mine. It is the Fenty Gloss Bomb. And this lip gloss is like, a, I've got a mini version of it because it came in a little set. But I'm so obsessed with it, like throughout the summer I feel like I'll be using a lot more glosses and this has been one of my favourites. So I'm going to just apply this on top of where I applied the NYX matte lipsticks and that's just... So guys, that's the finished look. Hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. Hope you guys will leave a comment below and let me know what you thought about this look and whether you kind of follow the same sort of routine. Also, I would like to know, do you guys prefer me to do these kind of like chatty videos or do you prefer me to do the videos that I usually do where I kind of like do the makeup and then talk over it? So do let me know in that comments below as well as if that's what you prefer and whether you like this look. <laughs>